All right, guys, today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Today marks 36 days I have left to finish my two-door hardtop project over there for Gerald Starbridge Car Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today's project is going to be more engine goodness. Uh, I spray painted this yesterday with uh, Duplicolor's aerosol engine enamel. So today, it's set overnight, so today I'm going to go in here and use a gray scotch Bright. These are finer. I'm going to scuff that down lightly. I'm not going to bear down on it by any means, but I am going to scuff it, blow it off, and then wipe it down, tack it off, and then I'm going to use my base coat on there. I had base coat mixed. It is basically I took a aerosol Duplicolor engine, Chevy orange paint. They're, they make two. This is the darker one. This one looks more red to me. The other one's a little bit more orange, which I like. So I sprayed it on a spray out card. I took it to the paint store. They matched the orange. And I had them add pearl in it. I wanted gold pearl in it. So it's basically a Chevy orange pearl is what's going on here. Base coat, clear coat. Base coat, clear coat, clear coat does tick to an engine. I can tell you that for a fact because I've done it since the late 90s on many of my engines. I like how clear coat makes an engine really shiny. Um, anyway, so that's the plan. Get the engine painted today. And while I've got the clear coat in the gun, I'm going to spray my new harmonic balancer. Uh, this comes, it looks like it's cleared, but I'm going to go ahead and scuff it down and re-clear it just to, just in case, basically. But this is a brand new Summits line uh, harmonic balancer, four external balance, 400 small block. It has a counterweight in it, but I like that raw finish with the brush lines in it. I think it looks pretty cool. Their line of balancers, I don't know who makes them, but they do have all the timing lines on there, so you don't have to put a sticker, timing tape sticker on there. Anyway, so I'm going to do that while the clear coat's in the gun. I almost forgot about that, and I just remembered that this morning. So I went out, brought this out, so I wouldn't forget it. Anyway, I got my package from Summit yesterday. It's funny, when I ordered all that stuff from Summit, a cam button, valve springs, and push rods, it all showed everything in Texas. So I get a package last night from Texas, and I got 12 push rods and the valve springs. So I go in there and look at my order status, and they've got stuff coming from Texas, Ohio, I think was one of them, and there was another one. I can't remember where the other one was. Three different places, and it showed it in Texas when I bought the stuff. So <laughs> anyway, that's kind of crazy stuff. After I get the engine painted today, I am going to drill the steam holes in the heads, those aluminum metal Brock heads for the 400, and then I'll probably change the valve springs out and get them all blown out, cleaned up real good, and ready for assembly on the engine. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow, maybe. I may wait another day. I may let that clear kind of set up a couple days because it is winter time and it's kind of cold, you know. So it's gonna slow down the cure time. But I don't have to paint my water pump. I don't have to paint my timing cover. Uh, all these parts still look fantastic. I don't have to paint the heads. I just have to clean the gasket surfaces up which I already done the bottom of the head I think one of them I got the other one to go but I wanted to get the engine and trans back in the car by Sunday night I don't know if it's going to happen it may end up being Monday I just don't know we do have rain tomorrow so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow I'm going to have to mess around a little bit I may start working on upholstery inside the house I'll just have to wait and see what do you find over here Kiki I think we need to go eat something I'm snack hungry anyway guys on to working. All right, so I'm getting down here and using this gray Scotch Bright to give it a a light scuff so the paint will bond a little bit better. I've always liked the Duplicolor aerosol engine enamels for most of the projects. If you have to use spray paint on a restoration project, because the stuff is. It's, it's really pretty durable, and it bonds very, very well if the surfaces are prepped correctly. But anyway, so if I have to use spray paint and something else on an engine besides, or in a, on a car restoration besides the engine, uh, that is the spray paint I prefer to use. It is more expensive, but you get what you pay for over, you know, Krylon or something like that. Kind of dark in here. So 
So the goal is not to keep going and going and going until it sands through the orange. I want to use that orange as a kind of like a sealer, primer sealer. It's pulling orange, that's for sure. All these old hard to get to and reach areas kind of suck because that's the area that will come loose first if you don't get it prepped, you know what I mean? So I found my old list in my notebook, it was a little piece of paper that I had cut out and stuck in my notebook for my hardtop. And it's all the notes and parts needed and, you know, things to remember when I got back on it. So I was going through that and I had a little list of needed stuff. And it was some stainless steel hardware. You know, I put ARP 12 points in just about everything on that car. But when it came to the rear shock mounting bolts or nuts i got the stainless steel nuts on there 12 point arps but i didn't have an actual conical washer to go on there for the shock bushing you know so i went to ebay and looked around and i actually found them so i was kind of surprised uh, they're actually pretty thick uh, but they were like 15 bucks or 17 bucks or something stupid for I don't remember how many there were, five or something. But it's the washer I need for them. So I went ahead and done that. Bought those, so those are coming. And then, you know, it's probably not a big deal, but it's, I'm gonna have, you know, judges are gonna be looking at that car with pin lights and all kinds of stuff. And I just didn't want a plain Jane old flat stainless steel washer on the shocks. It's supposed to be conical, which basically means it's domed, you know, to go over the rubber bushing. But anyway, the other thing that uh, the other thing that I did not like that I I did because at the time I didn't want to buy them is the energy suspension urethane body mount set that I put on that hardtop. It comes with the gold you know two inch two inch OD washers. They're gold anodized for your three eighths bolts, and I put ARP stainless twelve point bolts in the body mounts, but I use the gold anodized washer. So to me, it doesn't look right. So I went ahead and bought some two inch OD 38 ID stainless steel washers and I'm gonna swap those out one at a time under there. So, you know, it's, it's rework basically, but it's gonna finish getting it over the top is what I'm hoping. I have to get a new piece of scotch bright. that thing's shot. I've been cutting strips off of this one. Anyway, so uh, I've got some stainless steel hardware coming that I'm going to have to swap out, you know, before the show because I'm afraid I'll get counted off for that, possibly. But, and then again, the judge may come by and just look at it and walk on, you know. I've had that happen before. Not on an indoor show, but at an outdoor. Anyway, back to work. All right, guys, so right now I am wiping the engine down. I blew it off with a blower after I scotch brighted it. And I've been wiping it down with a aerosol wax and grease remover. I like aerosols over the pour out style because it's less mess, it's less waste, and you can get a controlled amount on what you're doing. I spray it on the rag, I don't spray it directly on the parts, but anyway, it, uh, it does a good job. This is why, you know, if you prep your engine correctly, you're gonna have a lot of time just in the prep work. I mean, this is, this is key to getting paint to stick to an engine. You gotta make sure it is super clean. <clears throat> so I'll go over the whole thing. I've already done the other side, I'm doing this side, but I will go over the whole thing once and then I'll find another clean side of that microfiber and I will spray it again and go over the whole thing again, just to be safe. And then at that point, it's pretty much ready to tack it off and shoot the paint. Of course, I got a mix of paint, but I hope I have, I think I have all my paint stuff I need. Now's the wrong time to try to figure that out. Okay, my rag's dry, I'm gonna have to hit it again. Anyway, you get the idea.
All right, so the base is on. It's been setting, I don't know, probably 40 minutes or so. Anyway, it's dry to the touch completely. I went ahead and tack ragged it off again because base coat, you know, it dries pretty dusty, uh, especially when you're trying to do areas, it, you know, with the fog can leave loose overspray on everything. So always go back and tack rag the whole thing off again, and then it turns your tack rag whatever color you're wiping on, which in my case is orange. So I went in and mixed up my clear coat, it's urethane clear, and I got it in the gun. I got the harmonic balancer scuffed, wiped down with wax and grease remover. I need to tack it and then shoot it. But I'm gonna go ahead and clear the engine a little bit. You guys get the idea. All right, I ended up uh, putting the clear in my big gun and shooting it. That little touch-up gun, the only activator I got is fast, so it is, it's kicking pretty quick, so it's, it's not getting it to flow out. I run out of clear in that little touch-up gun, the mini one, on the other side, and then went back, poured some more in it, come back around I couldn't get it to, to blend so at that point I changed to the big boy gun and shot the crap out of it and it really floated out then <laughs> but anyway that uh, you can see the gold pearl in that in the sun I love it it's a uh, it's a little bit of detail that you won't notice unless the sun's on it at an outdoor car show when the hood's up but when I get done putting all the stainless steel plugs and all the accessories on it it's well, if you've seen the old videos when it had the 350, it's going to look the exact same, but I'm just glad the paint matches. I'm happy about that. So here's the harmonic balancer after putting two coats on it. I love the shade of that. It, it looks just like stainless steel to me. I love it. Just a quick tip here for you garage or 
driveway guys like me so water will be in your air hose and coming out of your compressor so if you got a really old air hose it's going to have moisture in it and oil and all kinds of contaminants so you don't want to connect it straight to your spray gun and paint a project because you're going to get fish eyes and you know the paint ain't going to want to adhere very well so my advice would be get one of these filters you can get the the round ball style that you can't see into I prefer these desiccant ones because they have windows you can see when you buy them they're dark purple when they're done they're pink you just throw them away now I usually just put a fitting on one end and I will screw this right on the end of the gun and use it now the other tip I want to give is you know it, it won't catch a hundred percent of it but it'll get a lot of it, especially if it's brand new but also when you get ready to clean your spray gun and you're gonna be you know running solvent through it to clean it and everything go ahead and take it off so you don't waste this and replace it with one of these I don't even tighten these with a wrench I just run it on there pretty tight with my finger and uh, that way it makes it easier to swap back out next time I go to use it but anyway just thought I'd give a quick tip there now I actually have a separate air hose that I use just for painting because it takes a little bit of time for the water and moisture usually to work its way all the way to the end of a hose. So uh, I will disconnect my regular air hose and plug in my paint hose. So keep that in mind. Just for garage painters that don't have fancy, you know, plumbed systems and water traps and oil traps and all that fancy stuff.